Hi, my YouTube family. Good night. Tonight is, or today rather, is Thursday, um, May 25th. We are approaching Memorial Day weekend. I want everyone, my subscribers, my viewers, to all have a safe Memorial Day weekend. No drinking, no driving. Um, make sure you have a great time with your family and um, have a good weekend. Anyhow, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about, I'm getting a lot of uh, questions in reference to, well, what if my spouse, my significant other, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my whatever, is not supportive of me having plastic surgery and or what if they're not supportive of you going out the country to have plastic surgeries? Well, we all know we have different types of uh, spouses, significant others. We have the ones that are supportive of anything and everything that we do. And we also have the ones that are um, supportive, but not 100%. And then we have the ones that are... Um, just not supportive, pretty much objective towards every single thing that we do. And those spouses in particular, most of them, especially when it comes to plastic surgery, in my opinion, they kind of just want you to be, remain who you are. They kind of get, feels a little bit intimidated about what you may become after. You know, you may become a different person. You may now, you know, if it's our guys that are going and have plastic surgery, you might now come back with abs and you're feeling yourself a lot more. You become more confident. If it's our ladies that have, that's going to, you know, go ahead and have surgery, you might come back with a new body, new boobs, new ass. And then a lot of our spouses or significant others that was never really supportive to begin with. These are the more insecure ones. They'll probably, um, you know, feel more insecure about their position within the relationship. So that could create a lot of problems. Uh, the way I feel about it is you're ultimately going to have to make a decision for what you feel is best for you. Um, you're going to have to, if you feel that you feel insecure within your own skin, then it's just a decision that you're going to have to make. And you're going to have, for the spouses that are concerned about your safety in terms of going over, you know, to a different country or, to, you know, to have surgery as opposed to staying here in the United States, you kind of have to understand their reluctance because going overseas or going out of the country or going somewhere else other than your general area to have surgery in itself is a risk. I completely understand that having surgery within your country is a risk also but to them they don't know if they want to, they're going to be able to be there they're going to be able to be there for you and then you have the other spouses that are super supportive will give you all the money in the world for you to do whatever you feel is best for you to make you feel whole as a person so the way i feel that you should approach this sp uh, particular subject is sit down with your in you know <clears throat> your spouse and let your spouse know hey you know, I'm feeling, you know, a little insecure about myself and I feel that, you know, by me going and have surgery, you know, I will feel a lot more secure within myself and I think it will make our marriage or relationship a lot better if I feel 100% um, confident within myself. Um, if for the spouses or the significant others that feel that, well, but you know, you're going to be going by yourself. You know, you could suggest, hey, by the way, you know, they came up with this really huge, really cool uh, Instagram page that I could actually see if I could find a surgery buddy. So I won't be by myself. I'll have the support system that I really need. You do also have the spouses that get so annoyed after a while. <clears throat> the supportive ones about hearing about oh my god i'm gonna have plastic surgery and show you like a million pictures oh look what this person looked like look what that person looked like look what this person looked like da, da, da. you know because i know i'm speaking from experience my spouse <laughs> he is supportive he was supportive to a certain extent but at the same time i would not say that my spouse was a hundred percent uh supportive in my venture because he wasn't was he supportive of me you know having surgery and so forth yes but i think he was also scared of what i may become yeah anyhow so um so with that being said i think 
uh, speaking to them about the options of you finding a surgery buddy that you're not going by yourself. Speaking to them about how you feel insecure, your insecurities, and how you can become a bit more confident, which makes you open up and bloom more like a flower. You know, um, letting them, you know, explain to them that, you know, this is something that you've always wanted to do for yourself. Uh, to make you feel, you know, better about yourself and kind of uh, presenting it from a genuine space is the way I feel about it. And definitely planning. I think it definitely takes planning. It is a chunk of change that you are going to utilize to go uh, and have your body worked on or whatever you choose to do, your face, your nose, whatever. At the same time, um, I think it requires planning. I think it requires communication excuse me and I think once you pretty much have all of those in the pocket I think that you will be just fine and if it comes down to um, them still not being supportive then it just might be you know you're gonna have to make a decision what you feel is best for you and what is going to work in the favor of your situation um, so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is what if my spouse is objective about you having plastic surgery? Honestly, you at some point is going to feel insecure about your own respective bodies. I think every human being feels insecure about something about their bodies. And I think you really should be entitled to fix or address whatever your insecurities may be about yourself having children as mothers can take a toll on our bodies and we can no uh, we can at some point feel uh, that we're no longer ourselves when we look in the mirror so um, I think it's a great feeling when you can address phones dying when you could address those insecurities um, let me stand up really quick. I wanted to show you guys what I got today. I got some Scar Away <clears throat> silicone sheets. See? They have the new ones now for C-sections. So I'm going to be using them. I'm going to put them on tonight. I'll let you guys know uh, if it works or if I see a difference. I got these from Amazon for like 20 bucks and these are the long strips uh, a subscriber today was so kind enough to tell me about some silicone strips that I could use on my belly button because she very keenly listens to my dilemmas on my videos but this is how long the strip is which is great but I think what I might do is I might cut a piece I might make it into a square and use it on my belly button so thanks to that subscriber she was awesome for letting me know that I like when people suggest things to me rather um, so I came home today and I'm gonna do a video this weekend on how I compressed myself uh, to keep my swelling down because this is something that we are all going to endure at least six to eight months and possibly up to a year after having tummy tuck liposuction to our bodies so i came home today i came out of my faha i got my my uh on my pads um took them off and what i put myself in eels ace bandages which is this is pretty much jacked up but this is how i wrapped it around me I put them in the freezer and I put them on shortly. I will take them off. I will take a shower and I will put my butt back in my baja. So over the weekend, I have a long weekend so we could talk. I could do videos. I could show you guys a whole bunch of stuff. But please love yourself first. Um, have realistic expectations. Please um, speak to your spouses, your significant other, especially when you're going to have plastic surgery. So it's major surgery. You're going to be going under and you need to make sure that you communicate 
um, everything to your spouse, your significant other. Just don't up and says, you know what? He or she doesn't support me. Forget it. I'm going on a vacation or I'm telling them I'm going on a vacation and I'm just going to get it done and I'm going to come back. No, I think that's being selfish. You do have um, people that care about you. So make sure that your actions are communicated very, very well. And I think that you will not have any issues. And if you are still encountering the same reluctance about you having plastic surgery from your significant other, hey, you know, it is what it is. It is, uh, you know, it's something that you're you're going to have to try to work through and, and for a positive outcome. Okay. Well, have a good night, everyone. Tomorrow is Friday. You guys know how I feel about Thursdays. I love Thursdays. And I'm going to come back on the weekend. Okay. Thanks, guys. Good night.